I didn't tell anybody about this for like, probably like a little over a year. So I got diagnosed in February 2017 and then um, I just kept it to myself. I told my like close family, obviously like my brother and my wife and my parents and my in-laws, they all knew, but I didn't want to, well, I didn't want to be a cancer patient, first of all, and then I didn't want to be treated like I was sick. And then um, I have a really good buddy down at Olympia Fire named Jim Brown, who has got stage four lung cancer. Um, and he's the he kind of, he kept encouraging me to like tell people because it'll be helpful and I uh, I couldn't like I don't know it, it, it he kept telling me like if you put it out there you'd be surprised at how helpful people will be and people kept telling me that and I just wasn't sure about it and then like if I do T cell therapy I'll be in Texas for a month if I stay here I'll be doing you know, sometimes I miss work or I found like there were times when I would commit to something but then I couldn't show up because I either had a bad side effect from treatment or I was going in for an uh, infusion or a treatment or something and I didn't want people to think I was flaky because that's not who I am. So I was trying to figure out and I finally just put it out there. I actually did it. I was at a meeting at my church and I told them and then when I saw the way they received it and how helpful they wanted to be. I'm just a guy that likes to help people. I'm not the one that likes to get help and I don't know how to receive it well. And when I started this, one of my new medications and discovered that the copay was that, I was telling you like $5,000 a month. When I first went out with it, my neighbor Julie was like, oh, we should set up a GoFundMe for you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> She's like, no, we should. I'm like, absolutely not, no. And then <clears throat> she like kind of pushed me to do it and it was literally like the next week I found out how expensive my medicine was. So I was like so super thankful she did that. But I decided to put it out there and I did. And uh, I've been like dumbfounded by the help and the way people want to help. And uh, just being, I have different communities that I'm involved in, like my church or the fire service or high school or college. And every single one of my communities has like, like just jumped in and said like, what can we do? How can we help? And you know, being from a community like Mercer Island or like having my fire family, like it, it's just, it's, I've never seen people come together like they have to help me with this.